If it works, it works. Yeah, hopefully. Hmm. It says we're live. Oh, hey, um, we're live. Woo! I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> it's kind of strange what I'm seeing up on the screen. It's not really a... Uh... Oh, there we... No, that's... There it is. Okay. It appears to be it. fixed, I guess. Yay. Um, so... Oh, Rogue dropped off. Okay. Uh, Rogue's resetting, so he'll be back. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Why don't you tell the people what we're doing here? Oh, hi, everyone. And welcome to another Tet Talk, or I guess Matt Talk, because I'm talking right now. So I'm Matt, if you don't know, or Matihi, who runs quite a lot of games and is in quite a lot of games. Um, pretty much all of them, except for Warhammer and a select few others. Um, of course, except we're doing... Warhammer. <laughs> That's Warhammer. pretty impressive when you could say you're in not one game. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, but, uh, of course, joined uh, with us today is Tet, um, of course, which is why it's called Tet Talk. Um, and also we have Darren, who uh, he runs the Aww. Call of Cthulhu Massive Nihilathotep game and a few other um, Call of Cthulhu one shots. And Tet, of course, uh, runs quite a few other games, like uh, he's run The Witcher, he's run Abandon All Hope, um, he, just a shit ton. Um, because you can never settle on anything. <laughs> That's true. Very um, true. But yeah. Uh, so tonight um, we are going to talk about, I guess, a few different subjects, whatever. Um, but we're mostly going to talk about, because everyone's quarantined right now with the whole COVID-19 and everything going on, we're going to be talking about the benefits of online gaming. Yay! Which is all we do. Woo! So um, if anybody wants to kind of start that and get into it. <laughs> um okay so i guess this is kind of my idea to bring this subject up because so for various reasons i'm on a shit ton of social media role-playing game groups and I, I don't interact very much with them but i i watch what is being said and a lot of people are very reticent to do online gaming even you know a month ago People were, you know, talking about how they did not, you know, oh, I got to do online, I guess. The first 100,000 posts I saw about it was what platform to use, Roll20 versus Fantasy Grounds versus the other ones, Astral and Foundry. But um, I thought I just wanted to bring up the point of, like, what do you guys feel are benefits to online gaming versus in-person gaming, maybe? And not the obvious ones, like... You don't have a group, so you need to go online, um, that sort of thing. Um, does anybody have any idea, like what what their thoughts are? Uh, one thing would be the injection of sound into the game, which Music. I find very hard to do. Well, sound and sound effects mm-hmm. and all that, it, which I find very hard to do at the table. Um, it's just really seems to lend itself to an online format well it's it's hard to have a gunshot paired to rolling the dice at a table Mm -hmm. right yeah (laughs) that's one thing yeah matt uh well i think the nice benefits to online gaming too is uh pretty sure i've mentioned it before is a lot of the times with gaming itself it's easier to kind of get into character when you're online um when it's something like either face-to-face or even camera stuff it's a lot easier to uh or it's a lot harder to slip more into character because you know you're seeing people and there's that um, thing about people being held back a lot when they are in person um, and not being able to um, kind of fully get into the role play of it. And Willingness to dokey, suspend disbelief right? or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you see the people and you're just like, mm, like you don't look like a dwarf. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. certainly less embarrassing, too. For sure. Some people have a lot of trouble doing it. Yeah. Well, that that's kind of all, un, kind of almost another subject, right? Is, you know, the uh, actual plays like that. Most of a majority of them have cams on, right? Uh, yeah. Versus not, which we don't do. And and this is very like I've seen. So I I pay attention to marketing and role playing games a lot because that's just something um, so because of the company I'm trying to start. And 
it is uh so the so i the the people okay so the there's a belief that actual plays drive um consumption of role playing games um to learn about new ones and i tend to agree right critical role d and d oh i know what critical role is now i'm going to do other things and find other games well I feel a lot of people don't care what they're actually consuming. And I think Matt and I have talked about this before is like, why do like podcasts and channels like us that don't use video? Why aren't we as have as much traffic or subscribers as whatever as like, you know, encounter role play and stuff that have like 30 to 40 to 50 to 60,000 subscribers. And I think it's very simple is people don't really care what they're consuming as far as, you know, Hey, do they like the game, the mechanics the but what really they, they like the people that they're watching. They watch the people, not the game really. That's my opinion, but I don't know. Yeah. If the people are entertaining, certainly yeah. I think that's a big part of it. Uh, I'll watch a play mostly just because I enjoy the characters and the way that people are playing them as opposed to, you know, the game particularly. But I don't watch a lot of online play, honestly. Yeah. I'd rather play <laughs> yes. than watch. But yeah, that's a good point. Huh. <clears throat> Demi, what's up? What up? What's your opinion of uh, playing games online versus real life? It's easier. Am I on push to talk or you just hear me? What's that? Hold on. We hear you. On push to talk We're practicing again. social distancing. I, I don't think this has push to talk, so I think oh, any, anything you well, say, anything you breathe is going to be heard. All right. Let me get a headset real quick. Anyway, <laughs> okay. you're going to play online. Yeah. <laughs> Also, make sure to socially distance, especially with online. Yeah, like I told somebody, I was socially distanced, oh, no, distancing, distancing before it was not mandatory. <laughs> before it was popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like uh, your <laughs> your makeshift mask there, Timmy. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a shirt. <laughs> I cut it's it a off. Shirt. <laughs> Do you, do, you, oh, do you need a mask? Oh, wait, I don't even know if I can send you anything. They make us wear these, right, when we go anywhere. Yeah. But uh, they didn't provide any, so, you know. They didn't provide. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, I know. I've, how many have I, I've cut out a lot. I have a lot of sewing to do tomorrow. I think I cut out, like, 50 today to make, so I'm like, ooh. Um, but, uh, back to the topic. <laughs> What we talk about <laughs> just um, online gaming. Oh, Sorry, yeah, any yeah. anything you want to say about it? Oh, um, yeah. Like the big thing that we have talked about is like they're there for the people who are kind of on stream and not there really for the game. Okay. Um, I think that's a big thing. They fall for the the player. They don't fall for the uh, don't fall for the game. Uh, hey, rug. Um, hey, slip. Uh, yay, camera's working too. <laughs> All right. So, um. Also, uh, if people don't know, welcome Demi, Rogue, and Slip. Yay. Uh, in that order, actually, of joining. So in regards to kind of going back to the online gaming and everything with people getting, of course, more attached to more the, um, <laughs> the people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bang, 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 bang. I want the... Yeah. Um, <laughs> that uh <laughs> train of thought is just fucking caught at this point um <laughs> i try to think where the fuck was i i don't know, I don't know. um but fuck uh but fuck. i guess yeah but fuck <laughs> it's called <laughs> 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 Sorry, I should have done this uh, prior. <laughs> Also, right. hi Jordan. Sorry. I see you in the chat. <laughs> My boyfriend was like, "Tell me when you're streaming." And I'm like, "Okay." What were you guys talking about? The benefits of online gaming. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, well, Rogue? 
um, I think it's like becoming more of a necessity, especially, you know, as everybody gets older and has to move away or if they have to move away from their groups or, you know, in light of the quarantine. Uh, um, and I don't mind it at all, especially with the tools that we have, because I started out when like the Internet first came about and when AOL was like 20 bucks a month or um and it was all like text-based chat. And um, there was a VTT called Screen Monkey that was really mm -hmm. horrible. Yeah. yeah. And like, I remember it's like map, map Tools, I think, is still out there, which is still pretty terrible. Yeah. And then um, Roll20, I didn't really start heavily using it until I started playing with you guys. And, you know, all the stuff that you can do with it is amazing. So mm -hmm. um, I look forward to seeing what comes about in the future like we were talking about maybe some vr stuff um but i've never really used vr heavily anytime i've ever tried it it was it was pretty terrible um so i was i was kind of thinking you know maybe maybe it's just not ready yet maybe the technology is not advanced yet for vr uh, stuff to be super awesome but everybody always talks about yeah but it's not the same because you're not sitting at the table with everybody and uh you know uh, around each other socializing uh, one of my friends brought up the fact uh, that tech issues were like a nightmare and he hated how tech issues were always a problem i was like yeah but at the same time we'd be spending 30 minutes setting up miniatures and uh you know our dwarven forge stuff anyway so a little bit yeah. of tech issues here and there is i is i don't i don't feel that there's that many, much tech issues i mean when you have them it's a pain in the ass but i i don't yeah. feel it's that prevalent honestly Right. And even like, uh, like just what I had there, uh, restarted the computer and, uh, now we're back. That was only like 10 minutes. <laughs> turn it on, man. It would have taken yeah. me 45 minutes to set up a Dwarven Forge, you know, set up mm -hmm. on my table. So <laughs> I like it. I think one thing is like you hear like people talking about like they're kind of forced to play with people who are available in their area because that's just who's available and that's who they can play with. Whereas like if you're playing online, you can kind of like we've done select who we want to play with and not and be a lot more picky, I guess. I don't know. That's my thing. But yeah. I couldn't handle playing Adventure League, you know, I just I would do something else. Yeah, there's a lot of like horror stories, especially with uh, kind of people who are um, forced to play with those people who are in their immediate vicinity. Yeah. Um, and it's just like whether it's like that creep that's you know at the table or anything just drives away all the women. Um, that's that's a big problem. It's just like yeah. that's why a lot of pe like a lot of women don't like playing in person or anything like yeah. that is because. Uh, just of people like that and of course there's the whole like oh it's just the gaming thing like group and you know build up your like build up a thick skin and all that shit it's like no stop being fucking creepy i feel like we don't have to keep saying this shit it's just like just don't be a fucking creep like the biggest thing is like treat people like people don't treat women specifically don't treat men specifically just treat everyone like a person um and i think people get like some some people get lost in that and they're just like it's a woman i need to act differently it's like no it's a person they have a vagina or you know have whatever and you know what it's it's just a person it doesn't matter and they're not gonna fuck you That's the most <laughs> important thing they're not gonna fuck you <laughs> <laughs> don't touch okay. <laughs> don't touch other don't players touch. i've had that uh Unless problem they ask for cons wait no, like wait. people are touching you <laughs> don't touch rogue <laughs> I, I can see that would be a problem <laughs> yeah. don't touch Geralt. don't touch him yeah like in the middle of Geralt's role playing uh lighten up francis you know? <laughs> <laughs> touch me and i kill you <laughs> In the middle of role playing, like um, there was a guy that was playing a female character, and while he was flirting with the other 
male players at the table. He was walking around and he was like touching their shoulders and rubbing them, <laughs> making them all feel uncomfortable. And it was pretty creepy. And they were like, yeah. thanks for inviting your friend, Brandon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I will say, like, having the three girl players for us has been great for many reasons, but it's the best is I never have to play a female <laughs> character ever again because I just feel like there needs to be one. And, <laughs> That's the best part. When you, yeah, yeah, I don't have to ever Debbie do it plays again. Debbie the best woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's got range, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I see you grew out your facial hair there, Demi. So I'm lazy. You know, we have to wear this shit when we're outside because all anyone can see it. Yeah. Are you just, do you just always wear it even inside now? I have no idea. You're muted. Debbie, you're muted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I don't wear it inside. I put it on for this as a oh, dumb. Okay. <laughs> as a so. joke, yeah. Yeah. I had to join in very briefly for that. So I'm going to take it off. Just. All right. Woo. <laughs> going down to me <laughs> what aren't we seeing <laughs> he's taking it off Woo. <laughs> this is sexual harassment <laughs> don't do it in your case <laughs> um, but uh, yeah I don't know where we're going from here <laughs> I know um, Does have, anybody guess, have anything they want to talk about in general? Well, I was going to say another great thing about the online is that I love good maps, and it is so much easier to just throw a digital map up yep. in a VTT than to try to print it out, especially to scale or something. It's just, yeah. yeah. So I find that when it comes to positional stuff, if that's relevant, um, and you're not just doing, you know, theater of the mind, I, I find it better than a tabletop. And the resolution when you've got tons of die rolls to do, I like that macros and things can be created that just speed it let up. things happen so fast. Cause yeah. to me, honestly, combat combat's fine but it and that's typically where things bog down big time but it can be so boring at a, at a table to sit around and, and have a combat take three hours because it's just slow manually and when the when macros can take care of things super fast you can keep it keeps the action moving and i like that um yeah i mean the macros can do multiple rolls in one like usually my macro will have like the roll for attack, the damage, the hit location, all that stuff is just in one macro. So you click the button once, it's done. You don't have to like roll three times, wait, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it seems that players, at least in my experience, don't mind losing that, you know, tactic, tactical, uh, that's not the word I'm looking for, the uh, tactile quality of rolling dice. As long as they get to click the button that rolls the virtual yeah. dice, you know. I mean, you uh, unless you you're my wife, then she 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 doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to physically hold all the dice. You, you see people like that are like anti online gaming. They complain about oh, I mean, the online rollers don't roll as true as dice, which is obviously opposite, right? <laughs> I mean, your yeah. dice are a physical a and, physical thing of the geometry of the dice which is much right. more you know problems you know than like just uh, mathematics on a computer right and just like that's one of the things that i always laugh at right it's like yeah and and you can't shave them and put lead yeah. in one side like <laughs> brew did when we were kids <gasps> wow he, he, tried, he tried to he tried to make a loaded d20 nice. D &D back in back in the 70s i'll make it loaded on the 19 so they won't know <laughs> it didn't really work very well but, it, it, uh, but he went to a lot of trouble to, to file that thing down and put some lead in the one and <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness of course, the twenty was on the opposite side. Yeah, yeah it didn't really work too well. <laughs> I love that. 
the uh, the quick calculations uh, a lot of the my play testers would be like they they wanted the dice in their hands you know and they still do and um, I still have you know trouble getting them to convert or much less buy a computer to even mm. play uh, I'm like it's it's 2020 you guys don't have a computer yet I mean come on <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What what I'm finding is the opposite. Like the younger generation don't have a computer either because they just live on their phone and tablets, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Roblox, Roblox. <laughs> um, but yeah, the uh, like uh, being able to calculate at the high speeds, you know, um, makes it so much faster. And I'm, I've been trying to, you know, get my guys to do it. And uh, I still haven't been successful in that yet. Uh, they're all still like, hey, what if we all get together and we all like, we're all at, uh, you know, John's house and we all sit around and we can just roll. And then just you're on the computer. I was like, it, it doesn't work like that. You guys all each need a computer and you all each need your own character so that you can have your macro set up for your character specifically. <laughs> so you can see the map. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we've bizarre. played like all different ways too. They would have a camera set up over the table, so and I'd I'd be I'd have to be like, all right, move the guy with the machine gun uh, over here. <laughs> Where? Uh, no, that's that square. Painful. No, that yeah. Yeah. North, north. Why yeah, north? yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I. uh um, because of the cold quarantine and everything, um, one of the games that I used to play in person uh, was called Cthulhu. And I used to go over to my buddy's house every other Friday uh, to play it. And then we started playing it uh, online. And we've only played it over Discord. So there was no pictures. There's just nothing. Like, mm. there's no music. Sorry. Yeah. And it's just like, oh it's, it's just like, like the old days yeah. i know it's just like this i just have to like listen i like put music on the background and then i have my own roll 20 open from a character sheet and like have a background picture there it's just like this is the i can't get fully in the character because oh my god it's it doesn't take a lot i think like i mean roll 20 takes a little bit to get into but it's just like anything else it's like reading a manual for a game like just read up on it and you'll be able to create these like wonderful maps and everything especially now that again people are kind of at home um roll 20 and the like and the like uh for gaming platforms are the best um especially just to immerse people in general and you can create some like if you watch our videos, you can see some really like just amazing things that uh, a lot of our GMs have done in terms of like doing maps, doing music, doing macros, um, just setting all this up so it's easy, it's fun, and it's very immersive. Um, and that's a really big thing uh, for online plays. It's just so much more immersive and just so much more fun and less yeah. stupid bullshit. Besides it it you know, does working. take an investment of time, though. Like you have to invest in learning how to do some of those things like the macros and i mean Mm -hmm. i remember the first time i tried you know i ran a game in roll 20 um with uh three of my friends and we didn't really know what we were doing at all and it was rough you know i mean i and i think you know now i've been doing it a long time and it's really smooth and and i love it but i rem i remember like that experience and if i just walked in cold and had no idea what i was doing I can see someone kind of being turned off initially and just going, ah, this looks, just looks like, you know, what do I do? Mm-hmm. You know, um, I can throw a picture up there. Okay. Now what? Like that's, it just seems, uh, you know, you kind of need to, to watch some tutorials or something and learn how do you, how to get the most out of the system or it kind of, I think it kind of scares people away because it just doesn't look like, it's not that friendly, I guess. I yeah, say. it's. I, I think there's other other platforms that are easier, probably. I guess, but like Roll Twenty is what we use, and I I feel Roll Roll Twenty is the most flexible for sure. Right. Um. I mean, you can just do like with when I did Abandon All Hope. All I did was 
because there's no obviously no sheet and I didn't want to build a build a sheet for it. So all I did was make attributes and macros that pulled the attributes. That's it. And so I mean you can do things like that even. I don't know. Yep. So Yeah, there are some basic techniques that can take it from really rough to pretty smooth, you know, yeah. and not a lot of time, but you have to know how to do that. Like you have to you have to have somebody or a video show you how to do that and then it's like, Oh wow, you can do that? Okay. I had no idea. You you wouldn't know just by looking at the interface. Yeah. Or just spend 10,000 hours on roll 20 like I have and <laughs> figure it out. Mm-hmm. Well, I think even when once you have just a, you know, basic comprehension of how to make it function, there's no going back. Like it's yeah. even when you do a game in person, you want those tools um at your disposal. <laughs> And so, I mean, I've run a few and I've always ended up like putting it all together on roll 20 first and just yeah. using that as my, kind of my DM screen. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's it. So, I mean, I think the tools are superior, but if someone said, well, you know, if we all lived close enough to get together in person and game, you know, I'd certainly want to do that every once in a while because yeah. there, there is the, What's Something this? about getting together in person. There's the snacks. Yeah, there's, there's <laughs> oh, the whole social thing. It is. There is something to being in the same room with somebody and seeing mm-hmm. their face, and mm-hmm. you know, but that's. Yeah. I I find it harder to do stupid voices and all that when I'm in a room with someone. You know, <laughs> like, I can't see the camera. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> if you're looking at me, I make faces when I do voices. You know. So, <laughs> he just convinced me we should move to webcams for games i agree (laughs) i think we should (laughs) strenuously not a lot of dignity but (laughs) being the person my stupid faces one of the coolest things i think about playing on btt as opposed to in live versions is the fact that um, you can do the visual, the distance of the sight for each character and like the torch effect and everything and how like maybe the one character is an elf and they can see very far in the dark and one's, you know, a human. Like you can't do that, of course, on the table, in the live table. Uh, and that kind of blows me away. You know, that's, that's a really cool tool, the mm-hmm. dynamic lighting. So, so speaking of that, what is what is everybody's favorite thing they can do on roll twenty um, that to them it enhances the game, right? So like say if if it's dynamic lighting for rogue or something else for somebody else, like multi roll macros for me or something like that. What, what does everybody think? I really like. Um... It's something that uh, Darren did and that he gave me the macro for. Um, it's like that, uh, it's like you have preset buttons and shit. Um, so it's just like you can pre-write a bunch of stuff um, because I'm very forgetful when it comes to stuff going on in games. I mostly do it for cult. Is uh, like whisper stuff to myself. So it's just like, oh, this situation happened. So it's this. And then they rolled this. So like I click this and it's like a pre, like a pre-written thing that I wrote before um i mostly only did it for the beginning but stuff like that and with kind of like the this leads to this kind of macros and shit i really love it's a lot of fun is that the thing you showed me how to do with yes. the yes that is cool yeah, yeah it's super cool that's what i like thanks darren <laughs> thanks darren <laughs> it was it was because i knew we, i was gonna run it was for the cthulhu one shot mm-hmm. and i knew there were gonna be a ton of whispers to people with things they knew that no one else would would observe or it would mean something to them and i was like there's no way i'm gonna remember all this stuff or sit there and type it out as a whisper mm-hmm. you know while i have to pay attention to what's going on so yeah it was it it, it made it somewhat sane to do that but yeah, I, I would say for myself, it's it's the macros, the ability to to do the stuff in the macros is is it's just a game changer for me, um, because it it keeps the focus 
on the things that I enjoy about the game, which is the interactions, um, you know, the the dialogue, the 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 movement of the plot, and not the mechanical. You know, okay, make your roll, and we all sit there and wait while people are doing calculations because that takes me out of the game. Um, and so when macros can just really quickly resolve complex, you know, situations or roles and, and show you very quickly, you know, I, like, I love the call of Cthulhu role macros because, you know, they have penalty dice mm. and different levels of success. And the, whoever wrote that was brilliant because yeah. you just, you do it. And it's, it's once you understand how to read that little table, that gets generated every time it's so fast and it's just boom 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 and it keeps everything moving and i love that mithras that. is exactly the same way as you might expect right it's yeah it's pretty nice um even if you're fatigued it, it'll pop like a, a line that says you are fatigued you need this you know plus one level of difficulty or whatever it says right yeah, it's cool Yeah, letting the computer keep track of all your negatives and yeah, that's what it's bonuses. For. It's just really cool. You know, something that Roll Twenty doesn't have that was just a cool little feature that Fantasy Grounds had that I always thought was just fun was it does language, um, like you write down on your character sheet what languages you know, and then the GM can like write what someone an npc you run into is saying and only the people that speak that language oh, can see it that's so cool that's so i i'm awesome. like rule 20 needs to get on that although it would probably just be for D, &D but and it's a fun fun little thing there that would be that cool. D, D and star wars for sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's definitely uh it's definitely really handy and like uh, slip was saying like with using roll 20 in in-person games that's what i do too now um when i was running uh back before the whole covid thing when i was running D, &D at my boyfriend's place uh for him and his friends um i used because he, he had a tv in the basement area so i would put roll 20 um up there so it's like here's the map and everything and you can see it and like pretty and then i have music and stuff and everything's on my computer so I can have everything kind of generate and whatnot. And then I have like a physical um, like miniature map and everything in case they get into combat so they can move their stuff around and just Barbie them around the, the map because I do find that fun. So I miss, uh, I miss facing. That's the only thing that I miss about in person. Games. <laughs> Has anybody tried any of the other ones? Like um, what's that new one? Uh astral or I, I i try i try i looked at it like uh because it's uh i think it's still free for a few few days like all the features um there's a couple cool th good things about it it i liked how it um you do asset management which is this is some like this is a nerdy thing but like it's actually stored in folders like if i put a map up up there it's i can put it in the, the map folder Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Which is oh my god! Like Roll Twenty is like this huge flat file and just list. <laughs> if you want to find your like old assets, it's like did I already upload this like two years ago? I have no idea. Yeah, right. And you have no freaking idea. It's annoying. That's that's the my biggest complaint about Roll Twenty actually um, yeah. is you have no way to understand what assets you have even uploaded. It's Unless impossible. you sort it before, like if you sort it as you upload, if you sort it, it and tag yeah, it, just, you can no you can search that. on the tag. Yeah, yeah, no one yeah. does yeah, that. Nobody does that. Yeah. <laughs> if if I'd have known ahead of time, I would have taken much more care. Like you're throwing you're throwing images in, you're throwing tokens in, and um, you know you've got a data storage, but uh, you can throw the same image in. Yeah. And I don't know if there's any way to like. No, uh, it counts twice. Absolutely. Yeah. Wipe but, out your duplicates. Yeah. No. yeah. So that's, that's what I'm saying. You can like, it has like file management, just like a window, you know, it's just like folders. Right. And so that was cool. Um, there was some cool, like it had like built in animation effects, like rain and that kind of thing, which yeah. you can, you can buy on real 20. Um, so it was kind of cool. Um, but I, I mean the character sheets. So one, one interesting thing is that the character, it can be any character sheet ever you upload a PDF 
and then you put like a field over wherever you want it on the on the uh, on the file. So like if it says you know this is your name, then you you create a field right there that says name, and you just type it in. And then so any place on the, the character sheet isn't actually interactive, but what you putting up there is. So if I put like if I want like okay this is my strength, then I put you know this is this is called str. So you're basically building attributes that physically mm -hmm. go on top of the character sheet. Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of cool, but I couldn't. I, I mean, I didn't spend a huge amount of time. Supposedly, you can do macros out of that, but I couldn't really. I, I didn't figure it out in my limited time. Of, but it's 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 very interesting. But I liked some of it. It looks nicer than Roll Twenty for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I've already. I mean, the thing is, I have so much. Right intellectual uh learning time into roll 20 like i know i can yeah, pretty much write definitely. all the macros i can you know it's like i, I if, if there's something i want to do i can programmatically do it usually and i don't want to i mean it's been five years i don't want to like start over you know so yeah. yeah and i also have like so much money Invested, in, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the assets, yeah. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of maps. Um, uh, Gabriel, what's his name? I can't remember his name, but he 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 makes awesome maps. Right, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, what is his name? Gabriel Picard. Yes, that's yep. it. Should remember that. He's a he's an awesome artist. And there's another one too. I can't uh, recall the, at the moment. Uh, Godrell, maybe. Uh, no, I'm gonna actually look them up. It's a guy. <laughs> he's asking if he's the only one, one drinking. Drinking. Mm -hmm. That reminds me. I need to go get my uh, rum. I'll be right back. Nice. I uh, I was going to, and then just like means I have to go out and just like. Eh, Should have done it. Come I on. know, but then if I drink oh, today, then I'll have a TED talk. Oh, diabetic wine. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was going to, but I did it. I'm also cutting down, but. Uh, oh, what wine? Just drinking in general. I it's drink so little in the last two months; it's unbecoming. <laughs> Gonna be like Sim soon. It's not What's your cat doing that. in the background? Hmm? Oh, he's eating food. <laughs> <laughs> Anders! My cummy's fat. It's a big fat ass, and I love him. <laughs> I can't say no to a big fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> the the bigger the cushion, the harder the pushing, right? <laughs> it's spinal tap. It's spinal tap. Yep, absolutely. All right. Anything? Anything else? What, what else are we gonna talk about? It doesn't have to be online play. I think. Most disappointing system. Something you got really invested in. Oh, oh man, that's a good question. That's a good question. Most disappointing system. I'm thinking of like campaigns that I ran that I didn't like the system at all. Um, I know there are some. There was that shit Ian ran. It was like a Western steampunk type thing. It was like Westward. A, Westward. Yeah, it sucked. They had rules for everything except what you wanted to do. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I haven't really looked at that, but yeah. Um. You didn't run it, but I think that you were pretty disappointed in the cipher system when we ran it. Um, yeah. And and honestly, once I had talked to you about it, I was, you know, it really had got me thinking about, you know, the strengths and weaknesses of that particular one. Yeah, I just felt I felt it was um, like I mean, the game you run or you ran was like in any way to challenge us it had to be like grindy right you yeah. had to get challenge that challenge challenge, challenge 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 because just i mean you have so many pools that you can you know pull for it just 
yeah, it, it would you would have to grind people out to make it a challenge. That's what I kind of felt. But I mean, that's only one game, but you know, it was by. Well, yeah, I mean, it it definitely becomes a system. After I thought about it, you know, you really can't be about feeling like you're just gonna die. It's it's just not a grim dark. Yeah. Sort of a system that yeah. you can use, but you know, for lighter explorative group narrative you know it's got a lot of tools for that mm -hmm. isn't cypher all about like resource management like you have the ciphers and then you got to use them or <sighs> yes it is very resource management but it's very hard to drain the players because of all the rests that they're allowed to get um and so know. it it does become very much like Make them use it. Make them use it. Keep throwing yeah. stuff at him. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't read Cypher, but I read Numenera, right? And same thing. I'm assuming the same, same thing. thing. Scrim system. Mm -hmm. The thing about Numenera is that, like, you can't have too many or it kills you, and then you can't use too many in a day or it kills you. <laughs> yeah, the, the Cyphers is the same way. But you, um, I think I'm talking more about resource management in terms of your pools and the points you spend from, like, your intellect and your uh, yeah. might and well, whatever. Fucking Numenera, you just go Jack. Jack is like, you get enough pool points for every single uh, stat, so you, like, you never run out. So yeah, that. I, I mean, that, I think that's yeah. what we're talking about, right? Yeah. It's it's eventually like um nothing's really all that hard or critical. I mean, you might fail at something, but you're not gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of. I know one that mm. really disappointed me, and I I don't hate it. But it's the it's Conan two D twenty. I got super invested in it and I ran a campaign of it and the players loved it, but I didn't love it as a GM. Um, and I've done a lot of thinking about it, and I think one of the things I can't stand about it is the Doom system. Oh. I just I just find it too meta for me. I just it's it never felt right and i never could figure out a way to be happy with it and and that's it's so it's such a linchpin of the game system itself for that sure. that kind of ruins it for me i love it but yeah i like it it is it is a little meta um like i've run um conan and i ran star trek both um, mm -hmm. i i really enjoyed it but I, I like the the core of the system. It's just that the whole Doom system bugs me, and I I, I just can't do, Doom or it. and momentum or just just the whole no, currency. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind momentum at all. It's the whole thing about me having a certain amount of points to spend on things that hurt the players, and I'm it, it's sort of like. Um, is going to be a strange analogy. I feel like I'm in an insurance company. Um, I am deciding what to cover and I'm also charging. Like, it's just, it's like, I'm not the guy that should be deciding that it, it's because I'm deciding how much it's going to cost me to do stuff. And to me, it's just natural to do the thing. Why am I spending doom to do that? You know, like, so yeah, the like, question is like, okay, an earthquake. I'm going to spend six points of dooms to have the room start shaking. Yeah. And now there's stuff falling. That, that, that is the weird, the weird have part the stuff about falling it. from the ceiling. Yeah. Cause that's what I want to happen. Not because I have six points to spend. It just, it, uh, it bothers me. I, I, I can't, you know, I don't mind spending the doom. Like, you know, I'm going to have these guys spend three to get three extra dice. That's totally fine. But what we found too is that there just becomes this, this um, sort of inflation that goes on. Where because once the players are a certain competence level, and this really doesn't happen till like they've been th their characters have become more experienced, um, they're just always going to give me three doom to get three extra dice if they don't have the momentum. Because they know that they will generate far more momentum yes. from that role. Oh, I I, fa I that. found that I mean, not even not even at high levels, people are going yeah. to either buy either spend momentum or buy yeah. extra die because they're going to g probably generate more momentum. Yeah. Yes, I, I found and that quite there, often. There's yeah. there's a so I I really like the idea of the system, but if the question is like what disappointed you, that like that. 
it feels like it should work and it somehow doesn't to me. And, and Walter uh, uh, Gru and I have talked back and forth about this because he was one of the players in the game. And um, we have tried numerous times to come up with a way to sort of house rule the whole doom system and we can't come up with anything. But if, if I could, if I could crack that, I would love the game, but I, I just, I can't crack it. I wonder what the purpose behind that was that whole mechanic you think it was like a, a way to teach game masters the you know the no. op game masters to kind of keep a lid on i think it was to give the game masters something interesting to use a currency to use because core to the game is that players generate momentum and that's that's what gives them all this interesting capabilities is you know you you get some momentum going and then you can spend it on cool stuff and i think it's like well what can the what can the dm do you know what can the gm do well he he should get some too and it's also this idea of like well what if you don't have momentum well here's a way you know it's the the idea is it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a little scary to give the the gm doom you know, do you really want to give me those three points of doom so you get three extra dice or, you know, whatever? But I found my players were never scared to give me doom, or almost never. Um, there were a couple situations where they were, it was obvious if they gave me doom, some really bad shit was going to happen. But most situations, it was just kind of like, okay, just became a matter of course. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you three doom and, and get, get this momentum ball rolling. I didn't have a lot of people buy Doom for me, um, or you know, give me Doom for moment, momentum. Not not a ton. Mm -hmm. um, well, they were my players were scared at first to do that, but then they kind of realized, oh, this really works. And then it was sort of like the box was open, and they did it all the time. Yeah, but the thing is, like the the main thing, like for me, the main thing I used Doom for was two things: re reinforcements and um, extra die, right? Yeah, you don't want five die run, rolling against you either, right? Right, um, but the thing is, then they'll they'll roll four four die, five dice on their defense because they'll just give you some doom, and then it's five against five. And if they're better than the NPCs, then so what? And in fact, they're likely to generate some momentum off of that. So it, it's it's just it's a weird. It's a weird inflationary system. Um, and I just wish there was a... I, I love the theory of it. I just wish that the that it played out better. Oh, and just to give him a shout out, David Hemingway. That's the other artist's name. I posted him up oh, in yeah, the chat. Yeah, some of his stuff too. He was good. Anybody else have any systems that they were... Demon Gate, man, that game is fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking awful. <laughs> Me and Demi both died when we played. <laughs> you hate it. Oh, no, I, Who I, made I, that I, damn I, fucking I, game? You know? No, um. Demon Aki died. I am a sole survivor. <laughs> it's because oh, Aki right. min maxed that's the shit right. out of his character, oh, probably. Dude, my fucking Aki, dude. <laughs> that's right. Aki died. Yeah. I Okay, uh, so this entire game, yeah, you guys are like level six or some shit. I stopped leveling up at level three because I felt like the summoner was in balance. I, I could mm -hmm. do whatever I want and wouldn't get punished. Yeah. But at level three, I stopped leveling up, and I'm the only one who lived. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think you need to work on that, man. That's true. He was the smart one. He was like at the beginning of the cave, though, when we were going in there, and he was like sending his minions in. You know, and um, he was never really in the danger. And uh, we, Aki just was up there, like walking through traps and shit. Yeah, he, he likes to be in the front. Wizard, he's like, oh, I am going to charge ahead. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went in there and tried to defend him. His with characters my... have been getting fucked on lately, too, though. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens, man. He spent yeah. like three, three, uh, three sessions in The Witcher, completely incapacitated because he got hurt so bad, like twice in a row. <laughs> I don't think that I've had a system really that um, 
I've I've disliked so much um, that I can think of right now. I'm sure I'll think of one later. I mean, I'm but, trying to think. Of, I'm having a hard time think. Which I mean, there were some uh, White Wolf games that I wasn't crazy about. Certain, uh, like there was one version of Mage that I thought was well, uh, Mage is so <laughs> fucking. It's confusing. really impossible to run <laughs> because everything, everybody's powers are so. I fucking read uh, the Awakening like three times, and the book is like this big, and I was like, mm -hmm. I still don't understand how to cast magic. It was, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's for the GM to be able to create a a cohesive plot or challenges when you can't really predict at all. You know what your players are gonna do, or how the spells are really. The gonna spells work. aren't finite, right? They can do anything, really. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's so, what I remember at least. I, 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 I think it's probably one of the most frustrating systems to run. I mean, it can be fun because you can kind of do anything as a player, but as a GM, mm -hmm. that's pretty tough. Oh, I'll tell you my most uh, disappointing system: mutants and masterminds. Um, it's fun to play. Well, the game was fun the, to play. Yeah, yeah, the game was very good. Shit. There's nothing against it. Mm -hmm. Like, I would say mm -hmm. that there's not many games that I like. A crunch level isn't really a big deal to me, but character creation in that game, I've never seen anything like it. It's beyond. Like something that somebody can do re, re, reliably by hand, I I feel because there's so many nuances and things you can add this way or that to different powers that change the cost that it makes it almost impossible. I feel. I mean, and the game itself was ran more or less like a D20 game, except it was almost impossible to hurt another person. So they took like. Mm you know, super heavy, super, you know, hero, you hit some guy and they go flying a hundred feet, but they're not really hurt, you know? So not only was it complicated, it wasn't for me either. So, yeah, I, th I think that one's definitely mine that I've ran. Anyone ever played GURPS? I sure have. Yes. Uh, I love no. GURPS. <laughs> GURPS is great, but uh, Dungeon Fantasy, you know, they like try to uh, streamline it for some reason and it's not compatible with any of the old like fantasy uh, magazines it's not compatible with like half the shit they made but it's supposed to be so it's like a huge fucking waste of money it was like 70 bucks there's a little kit that i got yeah comes with like three little mini books is it gerps what is, is it, it it's, GURPS. it's hmm. uh it's powered by gerps it's supposed to be compatible they say it's compatible with all the other shit they published but it's not you know huh I don't know. Yeah, I, I, um, my first, my first game ever was GURPS. GURPS is great. You can do whatever you want, but not on this one. Long time. Yeah, <clears throat> GURPS third edition, I think, maybe second. I don't remember, but third is the current one, right? Or is fourth, it fourth, fourth, yeah. But it's been out for over ten years, easy. Yeah, fifth sun on the horizon. I think one of the most superior games that can be played is A Cozy Den. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best game that's out there. <laughs> when is that going to get played? With, oh, with it's it needs it needs oh, cameras. It needs it, cameras though. It does. We'll play it. Uh, because we'll everybody's going to be like, you're just going to see the top of the head because they're just going to be like burying their hands <laughs> in their head. Hey, let to hold your hand. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's consensually cuddle. cuddle. <laughs> is that? Is that a I'm, hot I'm chocolate? trying to imagine yes, a non-consensual <laughs> cuddle. Yeah. I want to hold you tight. I struggle snuggles. Good. <laughs> Not get away from my cuddles. Don't struggle Certainly snuggle possible. the table. Just, yeah. <laughs> yes, this is hot chocolate, by the way. I had to. Hell yeah. Kind of <laughs> With my oh, let's yeah. get cracking. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Is it, I thought you were drinking wine. I was going to get out, go out and get some oh, wine, but then I'm just like, you know what? Like, 
if I did, then I'd be hung over tomorrow and then I wouldn't be able to do anything and then I'd just keep drinking. And That's the best part. <laughs> yeah, but like quarantine life is hard enough without being hung over and sad. <laughs> the hot chocolate it is. Fuck <laughs> <Look>, yeah. <laughs> Um. <laughs> kind of derailed everything I'm so sorry. All right, so what are the, what are the games since besides Matt everybody has a limit in how many games they can play? No limit. What, is there any games that you wanted to play? Not that you just but that you really wished you had played but you didn't get the opportunity to? Warhammer. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm looking at all the games that are played. That's why I'm asking. I want to play in a Darren game. The only Darren game I played was uh, that one shit where you had like five players and we all had four characters, and that was too much. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, you're yeah. going to get your that chance. Mm-hmm. We've got what, the. What was the game, Darren? It was. Uh, DCC, right? It was, yeah, Dungeon Crawl. Dungeon Crawl Class. Class. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's. that's um, yeah, and that's just the. That's supposed to be for the zero level characters and. and it's really meant to just be a quick grind through, and it really didn't turn out that way. So yeah, there was way super, too many players. wasn't wasn't super happy with it. Yeah, yeah, I think at a point during that game, I literally stepped away for like thirty minutes, and it's we were in combat, right? Mm, I stepped away yeah, for thirty yeah. minutes. I came back, and it still wasn't my turn. <laughs> yeah, I, I've I've been in there. That's that's not fun. You'll you'll get a better experience in the Call of Cthulhu mm-hmm. uh, one shot. I was actually looking at a, our, the characters we all picked for that, and it's like, um, like the almost exact same setup as in the Fear Factory, um, except mm. Matt Matt swapping with the character that well um effie played in that one it's just funny the I I, i've like typecast myself i've been playing the smart guy but he's yep. never really smart uh, it, uh, this is your chance to be smart I played dr stoon in ted's last game that shit was <laughs> you want to tell him yeah what happened a lot yeah i didn't get to play that one well he got oh, eaten yeah. oh no I was a shitty scientist, but <laughs> nothing that we like needed to know about was my major, so I was useless. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I know all these sciences except the two that we use. <laughs> yeah, that's always great, too. <laughs> I've been looking forward to City of Mist. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. I've, I've been interested in that and since Doc mm-hmm. was going to run a game like three years ago and that Obviously, never happened because that's mm-hmm. what happens with him. He says he's going to run something and doesn't run. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the book is beautiful. I was looking forward to that cyberpunk game that Doc was going to run. I can't remember. Android. What. Yeah. It's from Genesis, right? So it's mm-hmm. the same as. Well, I guess you haven't played Star Wars, but most other people have. But yeah. Good. Yeah, I haven't tried that one. I love the Genesis system. It's very nice. What? What system was Bo when I first came to B&B? Bo was D6 Star Wars. Oh, That's okay. that that old, the old, That's old, old, old yeah. one. Yeah. The West End Games one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is old. Yeah. They did like a um, revamp. Uh, Fantasy Flight Games did a uh, new, and not, a, not even a new edition. They call it revised, I think, but it's like based on the latest edition. I don't even know if there's any rule changes. It just looks nicer, but Wait, you guys... even even beyond their fantasy mm-hmm. flights beyond fantasy flights star new Star Wars system, they've got a newer thing. Well, it's it's they they did like a 30 uh 30 year edition of the oh, Western of games the, of the D6. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's exact I I think it's exactly the last the same as the last edition. Yeah. So, but yeah. I haven't. Well, they won't at be it, but... doing. Yeah, they won't be doing much with that, <laughs> <laughs> or with any other. Well, I mean, the the whole all their role playing games got s- not sold off, but moved over. Asma Day mm-hmm. moved them over to a European, um, company. So, it's it's nobody knows really what's happening, but yeah, yeah. Well, Fantasy Flight's been having so many problems. Mm-hmm. Asmodee's been just trying to sell them, basically. 
they're they're keeping the big hitters like the miniature stuff and mm-hmm. but yeah yep bye slip bye yeah i gotta be bye guys too. oh okay bye darren bye-bye bye guys don't leave me darren please oh don't, he's leaving don't cry me. Don't cry. I'll, I'll mail you some tissues <laughs> <laughs> or toilet paper. Yeah, you that need. would be that would be like gold. Well, actually, it wasn't. Yeah. T- I went to Target today, and there was there's lots of TPS. Yeah, yeah it's fine now. It's, it's, mm-hmm. Yeah, hand sanitizer, not so much, but TP mm-hmm. or hair clippers. Hair clippers. I have uh, yeah. Or burritos yeah, for some reason. Ooh, burritos. My wife wants burrito mm-hmm. for her sandwiches because she likes them better for wraps and. They still don't have them in the store. I don't know what I'm mm. And I'll leave you with that. Hey, see you guys. Oh, see you, Darren. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Good night. Discuss. I um, I was gonna say I I did love that one game that you ran, Ted. Uh, at Delta Green, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Was it Delta Green? Yep. Yeah, the yeah, number. Well, I ran it, so. <laughs> That's what it was, right? It was called Delta Green. Yeah. Um, the uh. The numbers. Um, yes. It was like a modern version of Call of Cthulhu, basically. Yep, that's what Delta Green is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, That'd I like cool that. I like that a lot. Um, it's a. Uh, it yeah, is exactly what you said. But it's like a federal agency. Like uh, Danish is going to run that. Um, like uh, normal time on the twenty third, and I think there's another spot open. Maybe Rogue, if you want to do it on the twenty third. On the on B and B guy. Oh, we haven't even talked about it. So, so I I don't know if we're gonna do anything live like on Twitch or uh, streaming on YouTube. We probably should, but um, the twenty third for sure. We're gonna have like, uh, we're gonna have like four or five games uh, during the day for starting at eleven p.m. Eastern to or I'm sorry, eleven a.m. Eastern to um, normal time. So. Uh, pretty much all day there's going to be a, a little break maybe we might fill it um but uh yeah we, we're going to have games all day long um i think we're just kind of we've we kind of been trying to do kind of things like this for a while it's just never worked out and we just had enough people at least for one day to do it um so we're definitely going to do that and i think the second part of the day we're going to have two games or the 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 end day um so 8 p.m um mountain 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, there'll be two games running at the same time. One's Delta Green. I don't know what Bo's going to run Android. yet. Android. Is he running Android for sure? Yeah, he's okay. Android. Uh, so he's going to be running Android. Um, so that's cool. Um, that's something we really would have been wanting to run and play for a while too. So mm-hmm. um, yeah. So that's going to be on the 23rd. I don't know if we're going to do anything on the 24th. Nothing scheduled yet, but um, possibly. Fiasco. Yeah, fa- yeah, there you go, Demi. Yes, Demi, fiasco. Demi, nod your head. Fiasco. We're going to run. Yeah, that's fiasco another game that we've been <laughs> trying to run since Ian was around. So. You know, it's been a fiasco to try it's to been, run. It's been a fiasco to run fiasco. <laughs> so. I want to play fiasco. I want to do the Friday the 13th one. Good. What is fiasco? Uh, it's um basically yeah. a GM, GM-less game, and they have like this quadrant and you, at the very beginning of the game, you figure out your relationships to everybody. I, I don't know much more than that, but... Yeah. Uh, right. So, yeah, Demi. Yeah. You have a connection to each other player, right? And usually one of them is like a strong bond. So like, oh, you're like stepbrothers or some shit, or you dated in the past. Or you're the close. Soft bond, right? So like, oh, this is a cop who has a warrant for your arrest or some shit like that. So... They're not teams, right? But you definitely have like a player who you're more attached to than the others. And then the game's broken down to scenes. So like it has to have like a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it doesn't matter where you start from, right? So you can start from the end. Or like, uh, oh, the ending scene is that the cop who has the warrant for my arrest actually winds up killing me. And then you play out that scene. And then after that, you would play out a scene that leads to that, right? Like, so oh, I committed a crime with my best bro, my, my buddy here. And you're, you're just playing out scenes, and you get points for what you do in a scene, right? As long as you uh, stay in character. And I wouldn't say it's competitive, but I guess that's the intention of it, that you're supposed to, like, fight for the most points so that you win at the end. So it's like John? 
Damn. Yeah. But it's vote based, right? Mm -hmm. I think people have to vote to see whether or not you. Uh... So you have to fulfill your. Uh... Oh God, I'm drunk. <laughs> you have to fulfill your <laughs> or your your goals, and then people vote to see whether or not you played most in character or some shit. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It, it, it's a nice little uh, distraction. Definitely not a great game, but suitable. Interesting. Yeah. I, uh, I remember reading, I think it was the Friday the 13th one um, that we were going to play, and I'd love to play because I really want to do a Friday the 13th game so bad. Um, I don't know. I think it'd be fun to finally run at some point. Yeah, that would be cool. There's just so many games I want to run and play. It's, mm -hmm. it's hard when you're just one person. Yeah. Or not, Matt. <laughs> yeah, or not me. Yeah. <laughs> I have no life. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't have a child or a wife, I would be in the same boat. A child or a wife? Yeah. If you're a forty-year-old virgin living yes. in the mountains. I, 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 I'm down. <laughs> I'm down for that wizard life. Ah, oh, wizard. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite genre to run? Dark um, fantasy. No. Dark fantasy. I like, I really like, I'm really liking horror. I always have, I think. Um, and I'm liking like cults and everything. Um, that's always fun. Uh, of course, especially, I think the last episode, well, not the last episode, that was good too, but the one with Daniel. Oh my God. Christ. Fuck. Yeah, it's the best dad. Yeah, you know, best dad. Torches a dude. He is not. He is not. <laughs> Okay, Boomer. <laughs> Kane is like me at like 16, I think. Uh, even though he's 19. <laughs> um, no, I, I like... Game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I like running horror. Um, I'm also really excited for this like superhero game. Because um, I've been listening to... And I'm never going to shut up about it at this point. Maybe we'll see. Because um, I've been listening to the podcast, My Favorite Murder, a lot um, at work. And it's been a big inspiration for what I've been like planning. Um, it's actually been a bit of inspiration for Cult, too, because they're talking about all this crazy sh murders and shit. There's like, you can't imagine what actually happened, but it, they legitimately happened. Like, this, all this has happened. But, um, a lot of it's kind of inspired what I'm going to be doing for City Mist. Um, some of like the murdery aspect. And I'm like, yay, I'm really excited. And just kind of that like detective, noir, vigilante. I'm, I love superheroes too. So it all fits in my And we, we haven't had a lot of superhero games in mm -hmm. general. And I mean, mm -hmm. even Mutants and Masterminds was not very long. Mm -hmm. It was only like five or six sessions. I love that game. It was so, so it was. It, I th I I feel it was. Um, even though it was kind of like a um, West Marches style kind of game, mm -hmm. anybody could play. It, I think there were some really good characters in there. You, Walter Peck's character, uh, Ghost you characters. Kind of me. What's that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That. Balmore. I mean, she was good. I'm a doubt. Oh, wait, that was a different game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, so I it was it was a good game. Um, yeah. What are you, Demi? What you, Demi you disappeared. Yeah, he ran off. He had to go poop. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, my favorite's Dark Future. Mm -hmm. Um, but I always get the itch to go back to Dark Fantasy. So it like rotates between those, mm -hmm. and I've been like wanting I uh, I've been wanting to do something within like the 1920s and 30s era, you know, like uh, the detective or something like that for for so long, like uh, the Call of Cthulhu era. That that type of stuff is always great, um, but I I never play that enough. Um, but I would say the most um, consistency would be Dark Future. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Demi? What's your favorite? Uh, I love horror mystery. You know, someone mm -hmm. died, figure it out. You know. Yeah. I always wanted to do like an Agatha Christie type game, but I can never get it to go. That's it. Like that whole investigative 1920s. Like I always get that itch to want to 
to, to do the that thing as well. is it's hard for a system to really be able to do that well I feel because yeah. it can't be just like okay do a skill skill roll to figure out this clue it has to be more than that right I don't, I don't want that to just be a role right I want to actually test the yep. player's ingenuity and creative thinking to figure that shit out what I've always heard is gumshoe is really good for that I don't know anything about it but I've heard that that's really good for that I heard it, that's more like um was it Nancy and Drew or like a some shit Nancy and Drew. Nancy Drew, you mean? Yeah, that thing. I don't know. I just, I've just heard that investigative type games is it's good for that. I don't know. If I think it's it's hard to to like I think write an investigative game in general because like you have to have all these like layers ready mm -hmm. and all these clues and everything and um like some people are like so good at writing it that you're like the players are like, I, I don't fucking know. Never so know, you have yeah. to like throw them the bone. Or it's so obvious and you're like, wow, this is great. And then they like immediately figure it out and they're like, oh, it's this. And it's like, fuck. It's like I spent hours and he figured it out in five minutes. See, that, that's why plagiarism is key. <laughs> you got to pick <laughs> a book or a movie that none of your players have seen. But it's well written enough that the mystery is there for you to work with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I've... No, go ahead. Um, I I I've written out a lot of stuff. Like, um, I think I was like about to go to bed one night, and then I'm just like, idea. So I wrote out a shit a shit ton of stuff for City of Mist, um, and kind of like all these layers and everything. So I don't. Th I'm really hoping because I'm trying to do as much gumshoe and like um like investigative stuff as I can. Uh, kind of like that mystery. Um, so we'll see how it goes, and I'm very excited. So, and that's next week. Fuck, <laughs> I still have to finish the characters. <laughs> well, oh. I'm a last minute person, it's fine. So, I guess, I guess we have had some. What's that? What's the Demi? No, oh, you're talking. Yeah. Good, finish your point. What do you think your ratio of improv to planned out shit is? Because I find myself improving almost constantly. <laughs> you mean as a GM, right? I don't know. I I, I improved a lot tonight, for instance. Yeah. I, I mean, I had to. I mean, there's some there's some instances where you can't like expect thing. So okay, so I always, I always go back to this, right? And then go back to the Zypher thing, hating all systems, right? He, mm -hmm. he wanted to basically just do improv role play. Um, but the system can absolutely fucking definitely and it does more often than not improve what happens in role play and plot and characters. Like there's no way I could have imagined Matt would have had four fumbles in a roll. Like she had four fumbles in a row, and this all goes back to the beginning. Uh, like we had this, like I was like, okay, all right, you're gonna be able to restat your entire character for season two because of the things that happen. But if if this very specific thing happens a lot, things are bad are gonna happen. And she had four fumbles in a row, and bad things happened. Yeah. So which is great. I loved it. Yeah. I'm so so I mean, but uh, there's no way I could have planned that. No, absolutely yeah. no way. Right. No. Um, I think for mine, it depends. Like, I think starting out with, like, for example, I think one of my first games, which was Dark Ages, it started out like um, maybe 10% planned, 90% improv, and then just slowly went to improv and then basically it's like i have like five percent planned i have these maps and then 95 percent is whatever that's basically what all my games go to it's like oh i have uh like this you know 30 40 percent planned cult was about i think 90 percent planned um i had like i had i have the entire um like city of dunwich like every single map like already i had a bunch of like npcs i had a bunch of stuff and then it slowly like maneuvered over to the improv side but i still got a lot of stuff like planned but a lot of it's like i have to i'm kind of glad we're going on a little bit of a quote-unquote hiatus because like shit i gotta do a lot of rewriting because we're kind of at certain points where i'm like okay where do i go from here mm -hmm. 
like everything with Daniel that was Well, I, I think if you give your <laughs> players any kind of agency you have to oh, do God, some yeah. improv. I mean I mean There's so much agency in that game. Yeah. I so, don't, yeah. What I wind up doing, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll have a plot, right? And that plot's going to go down whether or not they interact or not. But I find that the players do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> so I will have the plot just going on in the background while they go on their own escapades. And I'll just react to whatever they're doing. So I find that the majority of my gameplay is, in fact, improv. And I'm just making shit up. <laughs> and it's got me in trouble a couple times where I just say some contradictory shit. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> they don't know. No one cares. No one's actually paying that much attention. Honestly. It's fucking Aki. Oh, well, that's, that's Aki. You called me out of my lack of knowledge of geology. Like, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't take a fucking course beforehand, Debbie? Come on. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, it's magic. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> They're minerals. Our rocks, Marie. <laughs> Like, fucker, if we were doing an IT related game, well, I got you. But no, this is fucking rocks and shit. Uh. A game about tea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. He'd win. Tea and this cats. Is my tea. Tea and cats. Oh, tea and cats. Oh. Improv is fun. Yeah. Players is. always go somewhere that you don't expect them to, so why even plan for it? I think. The one thing that I do um, is basically, it's like, um, sometimes I'll have like a plot and it's like, okay, here's the plot. And then the players are like, oh, I'm going to go this way. So I'm like, okay, slightly readjust the plot. Now it's back here. So no matter what, they always run into the plot and everything's fine. Um, usually, usually. Uh, but sometimes just the more I've played with you guys, the more I can kind of anticipate sometimes what you're going to do. And it's just like, oh, I know if I put them in this situation, they're probably going to do this. So I can sometimes anticipate for that. Unless, you know, someone just goes fully John Wick on a bunch of guys trying to kidnap them. And, <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> I want to choke them. I want to choke them. Use a different move, <laughs> Dad. Come on. Dog. Dude, the choking one's the best move. <laughs> I, know, I just want to get behind him and choke him. That's all I want to mm -hmm. do. His signature move. Yeah. <laughs> I think during the live games that I've done, it's uh, like ninety percent improv, and then during B and B games, um, I do a lot more planning um, and writing stuff out, and I have like little notes for myself uh, lined up in the handouts. You know, um, I'll have like a setup of like Act One, Scene One, Scene Two, Scene Three, and just kind of like a sentence to basically get my head to where I was, you know, what I was thinking about. And then once I'm there, uh, you know, whatever the players are going to do, you know, whatever, and totally derail it probably, but. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> oh God. Like uh, the other night, last night with chaos. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Fuck. That was so good. I love yeah. chaos so much. Um, that was a really, it was probably, it's like, uh, oh, any last minute RP. <laughs> it's it like, lasts for an hour. Like, yeah, yeah, 45 minutes later, there's a guy. <laughs> I remember beat. looking at it. I was like, God, they're still going. It's almost four hours. <laughs> Holy shit. It was great. I, I wanted to go for longer. I'm just like, oh. That's how I was like, in almost every cult game. Oh, yeah. I, I don't, I, like, honestly, what? I don't, like, it happens everyone. Like, I, I get about, like, two and a half hours. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like, cold i was always like okay i can keep and i think i think it's two things like, game's great mm -hmm. but it's also like how the game gets split it's like yeah. i just want to play more right and yeah so, yeah but I, yeah yeah that's good. well that's basically kind of unfor like fortunately and unfortunately uh, i guess unfortunately how we're kind of gonna have to run uh yeah. cult is kind of in these two little groups um until like certain times where you guys can meet up and then we can like kind of link the groups and everything it's a um, fucking witcher problem that's the, it, it is. that's a shit i mean it's like everybody like mm -hmm. sim sim and ghost like split up last night and, and yeah I was like, a lives on her own oh, fuck everybody. you know it's like oh another another split mm -hmm. right and it's all player driven right it, yeah. not me 
it's i think it's the nature of certain sorry uh go ahead demi oh i was just gonna say the only games i've officially ran for bnb are to genesis and D and mm-hmm. and both games almost immediately all three party members <laughs> put up we're all four party members <laughs> do their own thing oh, so now I'm, it, it's and like dude split bad. up when he got kicked out <laughs> everyone gets 10 minutes that's that's my policy you get 10 minutes in the spotlight and then it's like scenes and then I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> it is. There's. It's hard to find. I think the the key is like to have a motivator to keep people together. But in certain games, like I think in The Witcher and in Cult, the thing is, unless people have really organized kind of their character concepts around each other, the very nature of cult itself is basically for people to distance themselves from society and distance themselves a lot from their relationships um and kind of focus inwardly which is they they write it's just like people like ted bundy like serial killers and crazy people who are kind of like on the fringes of society who don't really interact with people it's just like that's kind of what elevates you in cult to like a higher like plane of existence basically like that's your divinity is departing and like becoming fringe and the thing is you can't really do that in a group when you're doing a lot of self-discovery because that's what i find cult is it's a lot of like internal stuff there is external stuff but it's mostly because it's internal progression um and kind of that self-discovery it's just a hard game to force people to be together unless you're doing very small like bits it's just like you're in an art museum and it's this campaign i forget what it's called but there's one in an art museum um but yeah unless you have people really centered around each other it's like you're a cult together kind of thing it's it's not gonna work i was gonna ask you about that um Mm -hmm. is it kind of set up that way to where um basically every campaign um, everyone starts with that normal life and then they got to break out of it or no, is it? I don't think so. Um, I mean, you don't have to start as sleepers, but if you start the game, like as like, if you start people as sleepers, then yeah, they start in a normal life and doing normal things. And then, then it's that break away. Um, when you discover it's just like, oh, there's a bunch of crazy shit out here. Yeah. Um, I, I love that. I loved it. Um, uh, I loved it so much too. Like when, when, uh, when doing any, like dark fantasy and stuff, I, I kind of like starting, um, like what we did in Demon Gate was when, when you guys, uh, started out, it was very mundane and there, you know, there's not a lot of fantasy or weird stuff going on. But mm-hmm. then as you progress to the story, you start to run into monsters and, you know, and all this crazy stuff, you know, and magic and, mm-hmm. and, and all that stuff becomes you know more commonplace and i loved in cult how you did that where we were all you know uh uh seeing a psychiatrist together oh, yeah. and it was all very normal mm-hmm. and then just went off the fucking rail Kane, you talked about your penis every week <laughs> for three weeks it was such a Why great you about my penis yeah <laughs> you think about my penis doc <laughs> That was so good. I loved it was. It was. It was great. Mm-hmm. Like starting very mundane and then just going crazy. Yeah. Um. It's just that building, and there's just the thing is like it's it's built to a point, but the the there's just so much more. And the thing is like I've read a majority of. I think there's like maybe five or ten percent of the book that I haven't read. Um, and because I'm a fucking idiot, I forget like all of it when i start game um i have to reread it and just read some like excerpts or like little blurbs and stuff just to get kind of a better idea of like the world um elysium inferno all that stuff um eventually maybe you guys will interact with it who knows it's just like it's it's also it's like if you guys want to keep playing this game (laughs) we can keep continuing up to the point where you guys basically like fully awaken which then um, you get a whole bunch of crazy shit. And... But here's the thing, like in character, I don't want any of that. So I know, like in my char- really like don't. characters are like like trying to push away from that because mm-hmm. I mean we're normal people, right? So we're trying to push away from that kind of stuff. So it's hard to how they do you crack? Yeah, yeah. I, I will they find a way to crack. Yeah, right. I know, but it's like. <laughs> 
I think, yeah, I it would be good. Oh, that actually gives me an idea. Okay, cool. I'm good. <laughs> that that yeah. whole uh, that whole mundane, starting mundane, and uh, and starting to grow into, you know, the craziness um, mm -hmm. was was like that in Game of Thrones too. That's one of the things I really loved about the show Game of Thrones. Like it was, eight. you know, very, very, uh, very common. You know, dragons didn't exist. Blah blah mm -hmm. blah. You know, all that stuff was bullcrap. You know. Uh, one of the things I think that drew a lot of people into that weren't even a part that didn't even like fantasy before started to like that show, you know, because it was like uh, kind of reality based, I guess. Um, well, the whole thing, mm -hmm. like the whole books and everything mm -hmm. is kind of that way. I mean, he like George R. R. Martin says that, you know, if a mage can just like decimate hundreds and thousands, if he can like shoot fireballs and just destroy people. Why would there ever be armies? Because there's, you know, I mean, yeah, you know, low, low magic, low fantasy type type games, which is, yeah, yeah. Like, but I, I've been into trying to run like games where you don't know if it's actually historical or fantasy, right? Mm -hmm. Like Death to Bushido was kind of mm -hmm. one of them, right? Do, is it fantasy or is it? You don't know <laughs> until you know, right? So. Yeah. I, yeah, I loved that too about um, Death, Death to Bushido when we started out thinking it was, you know, it was totally nothing uh, supernatural was going on. Uh, that was another thing I loved about that game too. So my plan is for that game when it's released is you can have it either way. It can be yeah. fantasy or it can be historical. So That's pretty sweet. That's, I like that. that's my plan. Because I feel, I feel like the things that are fantasy are so small in there mm -hmm. that I can easily change it to something not, and it won't like lose too much. So, yeah, oh, yeah, it's it was a fun game. We got we got your beautiful baby from it. So. A beautiful baby. <laughs> I remember like pulling out that token and, and just being like, "This beautiful baby comes out," and everybody was like trying not to laugh, and I just started like, "It was just so funny." <laughs> oh, that baby just like. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> What's your pretty little baby there, Demi? <laughs> How you doing, Debbie? You good? Yeah, you good. Oh no, what's up? You all right there? <laughs> yeah, I'm great. Yeah, you good? Yeah, I'm this sucks. Be... This is the worst beer I've ever had. Just don't drink it. I have like four more of them. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could just give it to someone. And be like, Happy no, I had Christmas. this shit for like a month, and I bought it, so I have to drink it. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh god! Don't buy. It's so we, we're disgusting. Not, it's we're gross. And... But that's not game related. So let's talk about something game related. Um. Ooh. I don't know. Um. Oh shit! I had like a bunch. I had not a bunch. Like one idea, and then I totally forgot what it was. Um. What are you rogue? Do you have anything? Any questions? <clears throat> Um. No, I think. Um, what games we got coming up? Is that what is? is that what oh, we no, end at? Uh, I mean, we could talk about games coming up. Well, City Mess. Whatever you want to talk about, Rogue. Come on. Yeah. <sighs> I, I was gonna say, uh, kind of sprouting from an idea or something that you said, Demi, earlier is uh, character like types you fall into. Um, and you play a lot of, or like you find, um, so you're most, so Demi, you said you're mostly, you mostly play like smart-ish characters or is, oh, that, that's or just have... recently. So okay. in the past three games, right, I played a doctor in Tet's mm -hmm. game. I, I'm, I'm going to be playing a professor in Darren's game. Mm -hmm. And then usually I play face type characters, right? People mm -hmm. who aren't good at combat. So I played Leander, who's just like. Ugh, I don't even remember his fucking voice, but he, he, he just talks people to death, right? Yeah. I played uh, Jian Lee, who's like, I got so much money, I don't have to fight. <laughs> I 
I, I, I honestly, I hate combat in most systems, unless it's tactical, right? Mm -hmm. uh, unless it's a fucking war game, I hate combat. So I like playing talkative characters or skill mm -hmm. monkeys. That makes sense. Talkative characters are, I think, especially when we do a lot of art, like heavy RP, they're a lot easier because the ones who chat a lot and kind of get along with people and are able to properly converse um i think the main type of character that i fall into is definitely the hand holding type <laughs> just every single game <laughs> every game i'm just like oh, okay <laughs> it's happened again <laughs> well the the funny thing, and me, i think i think we've me. talked about this before is like uh probably there's not like i don't think there's a lot of games in there that really you know every movie you have almost every one there's some sort of romantic like mm -hmm. thing going on and right and yeah. i don't think a lot of role playing games have that a because it's mostly guys usually b because it's like awkward or whatever and people can't mm -hmm. like get over it and so yeah mm -hmm. i think it it makes sense but yeah i think hey, you give me an opportunity i will hit on the shit on another guy I'm like, hey, Elwin. Move talk. Elwin. Oh my god, Elwin. Holy oh, shit. I, I regret everything about Elwin. Don't ever so, regret Elwin. Elwin is a beautiful boy. I'm not the kind of guy that <coughs> plays these like, weird fucking, like, oh, I hit on everyone character. I've never played that kind of character. Right? So I gave Elwin a shot. Elwin is like a little slut. Literally a little elf slut. <laughs> and I hate what it. game is this? This is D&D. &D. Oh. It's so good. Ellen's amazing. He, just, he, he flirts with everyone. It's just not me. It's nothing about that is me. Hey, Arden, I'll carry you. Come on. And I, I gave him like this shitty, apparently it's an anime voice, but I gave him like this. <laughs> oh, wow. We really have to do something about that. <laughs> I'm there, good looking. Why don't you and I go back to my place? <laughs> it, it's not me. I've Love never it. played a character who just like hits on people. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's always been like a weird cringy thing, you know? Like, I love oh, that. Um, wow, you're looking mighty fine. <laughs> you look even finer without that armor. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so good. Fast. I love that one so much. <laughs> A piece of shit, but I love him. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, romance God. is weird. I, I, I'm willing to accept any boundary, but I've never been able to actually get in a fucking romantic relationship in an RPG. Just play a game with me, Demi. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I tried hitting on your fucking um, what was her name? She's a princess, or it was uh, Avatar. Oh, oh yeah, her. Um, yeah, I remember. That shit didn't work out. As she was, oh yeah, that's true. That didn't work out. I think because she was, she was more of a ghost character. Apparently, <laughs> like, I was like, hey, him. we're both royals. I'm rich as shit. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Should have been like, okay. Yeah. I, I I got the gay dude to hit on me. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he definitely was. And then you're just like, yeah, friend, and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good friend. I can't oh. believe I'm so lucky to have you as a friend. It hurt, it hurt so much. It's like oh, I've been friends. <laughs> I liked um, I liked the relationship between um, the machine. Yes, uh, Yen. Yeah. That and good. Yen. That was awesome. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that one. <laughs> Chocolate eggs. I, lo <laughs> I love Machine is so great, like just in general. Um, I think, Rogue, you have a tendency in like games to make like that character that everybody loves. Mm -hmm. Like, because it was like Machine um, in, uh, what is it? CP. In. No, 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 not in CP. I was gonna say, well, no. machine in CP. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, yeah. also in oh fuck, the, it's a game that I ran. Uh, Mortals. Um, Michael. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. They're like it's party time. Yeah. yeah, just like so likable. Um, yeah, and just like a lot of the games that you play, like you have really, really likable characters. I need to make some more unlikable ones then. <laughs> you should just play. You should just be me. I make all the unlikable ones pretty much. <laughs> the biggest asshole. Like they're yeah. not like they're usually like very obtuse. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. 
They don't know they're being assholes, but they're just assholes. Like Kane, right? <laughs> Kane, Wrath, yeah. like those types. Oh yeah, Wrath's a fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess um, the one in Cult is not... Daniel. Uh, yeah, Daniel. God, I forgot his name. He's not likable. I guess he's, he's not, not really likable. likable. He's not likable I, at all. I think I like Daniel because he's just so fucked up. I like the character, like, but he's not likable at all. I and just keep pushing, and he keeps taking. So I'm like, yay! Oh yeah. <laughs> and I do the the I try to do the uh, the creepy. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? <laughs> Hey, how's it going? When he went to the store with his son, and they're like shopping oh, at like the Seven yeah. Eleven, getting something from from, and the girl that he goes to school <laughs> yeah. with is at the counter. Hi, you know. <laughs> and he made some like creepy. So Remind me of my dad. Oh, I was watching the girls playing soccer in the fields. <laughs> I imagine myself choking him. Fucking Daniel, man. <laughs> so good. Yeah. What about you? I guess, oh, I mean, yeah, Ted. You, I guess you make a lot of asshole characters. But they're not <laughs> like I, they're, they're not like I don't know how to describe it. They're not like very obvious. They're not like they're narcissistic. I, I'm being an asshole. Yeah, they're yeah. narcissistic. That's exactly. Yeah, you make the narcissistic. Yeah. 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 And then Demi makes the the charming face characters. I'm always the romantic characters every single time. I... For the most part, I've realized I make useless characters. Characters who really can't help you in the majority of situations. I, I really liked Demi's character in, in the Demon Gate game. Like, oh, it started out fuck. so weird. Like, these three guys were not people that would hang out with each other. Yeah. And then and then they're, uh, you know, they're, them hanging out, being forced to, like, live together was was awesome. I loved that guy. His, what was his name? Soth. I am Soth. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I am a cannibal, apparently, but I'm not that bad of a guy. <laughs> like a he, fucking like one of those like singlet things that like just cover the junk. I don't even know. Like, like a really <laughs> shitty like Spaniard Borat. accent, you know? <laughs> yeah. <Very> nice. Hello. <laughs> Oh, it's Borat. Borat. <laughs> Borat. That regime hanged like sleeve of words. Yeah. Right. Mm. That was cool. He was alright. He was a little shithead. Though. Yeah. He was, he was creepy, too. I love that. Hello. Cool. I noticed that you were sleeping. <laughs> He's in my room while I wake I, up. Uh, I watched over you. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> I need to fucking. Oh no, Debbie dropped out. <laughs> he got too excited. <laughs> he got way too excited. <laughs> oh no, I hope he didn't drop connection. Oh. Um, is that? he still online in Discord? There, there he is. Yeah, he's back. He's he got back. too excited. That's what happened. <laughs> yes. <Whoa. laughs> I just love how your camera is just like. So it's high, it's only getting your it's face. Like You're like, up. hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Time I love it. It uh, is 10, 12 30. Yeah, 20, yeah. Oh. yeah, I'm gonna have to jump off here too now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's talk about what we got coming up real quick. Um, City Mist. Oh, done. <laughs> yeah, City City Mist is coming up next month. Uh, Cult's taking a break. Witcher's taking a break next month, too. We're going to be running uh, Mithras, Shores of mm-hmm. Quarantia. Uh, L5R, 4th edition, is starting. It has started. You'll see a video from that very soon. A um, couple of videos doing that one. Um, I think that's all the new games. I think so. And then we have, of course, some just one shots and the one shot weekend that are coming up. Yeah. Um, when is the con? Next weekend. No, yeah, no, 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 sorry, no, 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 no. Yeah, 23rd, 23rd, 24th. 20, nothing's on the 24th mm-hmm. yet, but 23rd yeah. is pretty pretty busy. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah. And what time does it start? 
it starts 11 a.m. Yeah, but I mean, you can do any slot you mm-hmm. want. Like, uh, there's I think there's some spots open just on the normal the normal time too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, because both running Android that uh, that night. Yeah, and Danish is running. Mm-hmm. Uh, 11 a.m. Mountain time. Yes. Yes, I'm running. Cults. Not 9 a.m. Mountain time. 9 a.m. Sorry, mountain time. 9 a.m. Mountain time. I'm running cults. We got we got four games, right? We got we got Colt. We got. Are you still doing um hardship? No. Uh-uh. Someone else is. Oh, Darren's running Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, he's there. running Call of Cthulhu, and yeah, then we there's... got Cock. We got Colt. We got Bose Android game. And then, and then we have Delta Green. Yeah, Delta Green. Danish did so four Green. games. Or mm-hmm. and then maybe <laughs> Fiasco. Fiasco. And then on Sunday, if we want, so. Danish is going to be premiering, right? That's his yeah. first mm-hmm. first game. First game. Yeah. Yep. Here anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I like Delta Green. So that'd be mm-hmm. cool. It's good shit. I really love that numbers game. That was fun. <laughs> Anytime you like looked at a number, I was like, and you see this number, and you're like, oh fuck, I don't want to look at it, but I want to like what, like it, 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 the the greatest thing, and that that's a that's a we're talking about um, the last equation. Um, The funny thing about that game is like to solve the mystery, you think you have to know more about the numbers, but everything you know about the numbers fucks you up more. So it's it, this was yeah. perfect about it, right? And that wasn't Shane Ivey that wrote that, right? No, it's it Dennis was... Detweiler. He's uh he's this he's like the right hand man of that yeah, he writes a lot for that that company, so Yeah. Well done, sir. That was a good one. It was really good. And it's only like sixteen pages in PDF. So it's pretty yeah. good. And short. Yeah. Um, I think other than that, we don't really have anything else new coming up. We have all of our regular game schedules, which if you haven't started watching, you should watch something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, is there anything close to ending? Uh, I don't I don't know that there is, really. I don't think so. Nothing really close to ending. It, chaos almost ended last night. Oh, that would have been bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think be, it's going to be a little bit longer. I want to be just tons of episodes longer. <laughs> I'm enjoying that game a lot. Yeah. That. Yeah. No, I don't think there is. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is okay. I mean, yeah. Things are still going. All good. Uh, later in the year, I know we're going to run some more Star Wars. Uh, uh-huh. Not my Star Wars game, but. Matt and Bo's Star Wars. You're gonna like do a bad side, good side game. Yes. I'm gonna try to shoot Team. lightning out of my hands. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, what else was forecasted that late? I don't remember. Um, uh, there was something else I was I wanted to run or had an idea of running, and then I didn't. I really I need, I need to get Fallout. Done. Oh yeah. Just wait. Yeah. Just wait until two D twenty comes out. It's mm-hmm. coming. I have a I have a whole story ready. So <laughs> it's like that's been prepped for over a year. <laughs> what were you originally going to use to run Fallout? I was uh, kind of putting something together because um, I like I there's a there's a D and D one, but I didn't mm-hmm. really like it that much because I'm just like I want it to be more like the video game, and I was like. I, I looked at a fan version that actually has a sheet on Roll20 and you can find all the information on Wikipedia. Uh, but it's just not... There's certain things that are like overcomplicated or and then certain things that are undercomplicated and they're just not enough. Um, was it D100? Yep, yeah, D100. Yeah. It was very similar to the game uh, and how everything was rolled and I really liked it. Um, so I, was re- I still have all this stuff um i just haven't had time to like kind of go into it and write it uh and kind of do it up because it was gonna be very similar but um yeah uh which is fine but i'll probably run it to the 2d20 uh, when it comes out i've got the plot pretty pretty much done so 
I was going to try to run Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh. But, um, yeah, there's not much interest in it. And I don't even know the system. <laughs> I, I've, I've actually played that system before. Yeah. Played by post. I don't remember because I don't think that game lasted very long, but right. I have played it. Um, and so if there was going to be any interest, I was like, I was going to learn the system. Uh, I know I'd played it before because that was the first RPG I'd ever played at the lunch table in high school. Uh -huh. And like some nerds, you know, were just nice. like, hey, check this out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You want to play? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I do. Um, I, I want to, I mean, Abandon All Hope Season 2 is like the white whale, I guess. Um, yeah, it's coming eventually. Eventually. It, it will happen, but, uh, that kind of, like, intersects, like, B&B &B to Earl of, I need to kind of do some work on that, because I know how I kind of want to do it, and, uh, it's going to be... If you think if you think Seeds of Rage was bad, it's gonna be it's gonna be like cult level, I think, <laughs> if not worse. Um, because it's gonna be it's gonna be not like as fantastical, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be like pretty gross. I I feel like I I'm a little apprehensive. Don't be honestly. I am. I am. I mean, it's like I, I you know, know, it's like. It's hard. It's hard to run that dark. <coughs> Yay, hey, buddy. Hey. hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Open How's it going? Can you, can you, uh, your headset there, Demi, uh, you can hear us. Can you talk at all? Or is it just like, he body? says dead. I can talk. And my oh. mic, I got the snowball mic, but my yeah. headset. Okay. Well, hey, you can hear us. Said. Hey. Hey, all you cats and kittens. <laughs> I gotta jump off, so I'm just right. gonna take my place. See you guys later. See Have right. a good night. Bye. Later, man. <clears throat> yeah, I just it's just like it touches on subject matter that is oh, it, it's not really I mean, I think everybody who would play it is okay, but it's still like it's a little awkward. Oh god. It's it's, it's gonna be if it's if it ha how I want it how I envision the story to go it's it's bad but yeah I think it's it's hard to run types of game I find like even cult sometimes it's just like ooh, it's, ooh, gross um like running some of it it's just like ooh, bad everything that I'm doing is very bad but it's just like oh, of the system well like, i mean you also know who you're playing with and who you think you know who can handle what right so yeah. i just uh i think it's mostly just awkward for like me because i know there's like i'm fine with it but there's like it's you're fine with it but it's also like what you're willing to like literally say it's just like i'm mm -hmm. fine with like Everything, the concept, yada yada yada. It's just literally saying it is just very difficult. This spider lady is straddling you, and <laughs> you know, I'm just like, God, <laughs> it's like this is weird. I don't want to yeah. be like, yeah, she's fucking me. It's like, yeah, she's she's fucking you. <laughs> I don't want to be that crass. I guess it is. Yeah, just um, gotta commit. Yeah, you know? it's hard to be. I have to drink more if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> The, like oh, Seeds of Rage was pretty easy because I didn't have to say anything. Everybody else just did it to each other. Yeah, yeah. But, Poor Tammy. Poor Tammy. Yeah. And smokes. <laughs> so, Bo. How's it going? Yeah. Now. Welcome, what newcomer. I'm a noob. Are you guys talking about role play games? Yes. You know what role play? You games know what that? Are? Yeah. No, I've never done it. Oh shit. Never done it. You should. Would yeah. you I say I swing my great axe? What happens? <laughs> you all meet it at a tavern. <laughs> yeah. You go on an adventure. You go adventuring. Just because you want to be an adventurer. Did you talk about the uh, uh, the online platforms and stuff already? Yes. Yeah, yeah I suppose so. Yeah. When did you start? Um, like two hours ago. Jesus. I know. Yeah, I can after, say whatever after I want Matt turned into a monster. This is like eight hours, uh, eight, eight beers ago. Yeah, 
Demi's been uh, drinking for all of us. I have two. <laughs> Nobody's like what? I had like two crawlers gone. <laughs> and I'm just not. Yeah, Yay. Matt's like I'm gonna get the diabetic wine. Yeah, fucking bullshit. Yeah, that's 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 what me and me and Demi are like. Oh, hype! We're gonna drink too. And I don't, I don't, you know, I didn't drink. I didn't drink this entire week, and then oh, we're gonna drink for TED Talks. Not happening. Huh? Yeah, it's rude. I'm sorry. I'll get shit faced next time. I'll fall asleep. Smite <laughs> used to get rid of the bad beer. I got some go. non-diabetic wine. Yeah, I've hit a new low because I start drinking in the shower after I'm home from work. Dude, now. shower beers are the best. <laughs> yeah, oh. there's nothing more quench thirstier than that. Because I got yeah, I got to go home and wash off the COVID, and while I'm doing that, I wash my insides with alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then I, 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 I do a bleach chaser. Yeah, I mean, yeah, do the too. you get like a you're and then you just jump in the tanning salon like. Tanning bed. Get the UV light. <laughs> Most application of science. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very much so. All yeah. science. Just uh, you know, blinded people with science. Good. She <laughs> blinded me with science. So, Ted, what's behind you right now? Um, mostly a shit ton of books. What mm. kind of books? behind you. And a signed Roger Waters I'm Rolling Stone. Yeah, the, the signed Roger Waters Rolling Stone with some Gen Con badges, but um, there, I mean, there's there's nothing new. There's Demon Gate at the top. Hey. Uh, oh, this, this is the only thing new, and this is research only. This is uh, a game from the 80s, Bushido. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like he ripped it off. <laughs> no. It was bought on eBay. So, no, nothing new. Just all the... This looks like almost... This is magazines? Like magazine format almost? Uh, Booklets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They look, that's yeah, pretty, good shape, pretty good shape. Yeah, pretty so good. Old. Pretty good. They're, they're kind of... I mean, they're, it's... The the spine isn't ripping away or anything like that. So, I mean, that's... Let's see. I need to get on eBay some more. 1981. Buy, but... Copyright. Oh, my God. That's a, this is in really good shape. 20 bucks, I think, is what I bought yeah. for the two of them. I want to buy some of those old Murps books. Yeah. Those are hard to find, apparently, yeah. though. The the cool thing about this is um, they have, like, um, all the different Japanese weapons on the back, and there's pictures. And I'm going to have, oh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have like, Bruce, like, uh, oh, yeah, shit. I'm going to have Bruce, like, redo them is- for Death to Bushido, so. Who's Bruce? Um, Ar- 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 artist on the, on the, um fan club page who's done some work for me but yeah. he's a cool dude yes yeah, pretty cool i think i'm gonna okay so something i've been thinking of doing because i am like i think a lot of other people am uh, very obsessed with the D game i really want to get like our characters drawn <laughs> for a D game because i really like it <laughs> oh, well, why don't you talk to us more about how it is dming good yeah. Yes, Bo. How is I don't it have to do anything. It's easy. That session we just had, I I prepped thirty minutes. And literally. then you fucking fell out because of technical difficulties. And then we talked for a you good, just like, RP. hour. It's yeah. Easy. We we're in a fire. We were talking about like my Discord crashed. I ended up having to like reboot my machine mm-hmm. and do some microphone changes or what something. And then I came back. You guys were still just RPing about darkness. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Jax is just like, there's lots of sickly around. sweet. <laughs> it's I know, sickly sweet. I know. Matt did that. Matt made a joke about that and he caught her. <laughs> <laughs> I've made so many jokes about that. <laughs> just all the I, time. I saw like the term sickly sweet and something totally not related and I just started laughing because that's he's all I totally, can about. He's totally. He's a good RP here, though, and he's, he is. For a while, until last night, I was like, man, like, he doesn't even know how he's playing it, but he knows. Mm-hmm. I think he knows he's trying to do it all. So he eventually will just get called out on it, and he's going to have to pick sides. Yeah. So Mecco, Mecco's just like, no, no. At the end, at the end, like the dragon, like he's trying to weasel his way, and it's like, shut the fuck up, worm, or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. He's like, ah, you, fuck off. And he's like, yeah. you, good boy. <laughs> Talk to me. 
so funny. It was great. That fucking game. I've written so much music for that fucking game. And you never sing it. I do occasionally. You lock up. It's it's you awkward. I fucking yeah. in The Witcher I sang as a fucking hobbit for like I know. five mm-hmm. minutes. But but Heather lot. has a good voice. She has a good voice. Why do you not sing? Oh, it's, it's awkward. Sing for us now. No. Sing, <laughs> sing for your coin, wench. Yeah. <laughs> You're not paying me. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not getting in-game currency for this. <laughs> You'll get some XP. You'll get 100 25 XP. XP. Okay, 100, <laughs> 100, like where they're at in the game right now, 100 XP is like... Nothing. Perfect. Not, nothing. <laughs> oh, I've actually started... Uh, well, I mean, I'm not quarantined. I'm still fucking working. But uh, before I was doing... Brawl makers stuff, are essential. Um, it's true. Actually, well, we're selling like um, like mask elastics and mm-hmm. such. Uh for both uh for both the home sewer and also we've uh, actually had orders from the national guard uh which is like cool so um i know uh though they bought up like a majority of our stock two of them so it's like okay yeah it's like cool awesome um but uh if you get some light copper elastic there and a mass there demi then uh it's for me <laughs> um not Coast Guard, come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you already got the coats. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I started uh, trying He's to. He's not the fucking Coast Guard. He's a U.S. <laughs> goddamn Navy. It's true. World's finest Navy. <laughs> um, no, but I started uh, picking up guitar again, so we'll see how that goes. Demi has first class semen. Mm. <laughs> He's a semen first class. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got his. Oh, look at uh, him. Look there's at the him. first class semen. Ah, look at that semen. <laughs> look at that semen. <laughs> Thanks. It's so good. Uh, he's number one semen. You get there, Demi? Okay. Bye. I'm gonna go puke, sorry. <laughs> that was that luck. I gotta go That's puke, like, sorry. Go puke in my hat. I know, that's about what it looked like. He had some indigestion or something. Oh, he's been drinking a lot, so. Oh, no. Was he drinking before he even got on here? I don't think so, but he's knocked back a lot in the past while. I don't even know how long we've been What is he drinking? Is it IPA or what was that thing? Yeah, it's shit beer. So I had some good beer, and I was drinking shit beer. So. Slightly sour ale. Yeah, he hates it. Oh, something we were talking about earlier uh, is basically when you're playing a character there, Bo, uh, what are the usual um, kind of character stereotypes that you fall into when you make one, when you play one? When I play one? Um, yeah, I mean, very, I don't... It's I, very different. I don't play. I don't play a bunch of games. So yeah, like I play pregens because like when I do play, it's in one shots. So like, uh, crewman um, Peters was uh, already made. Um, well, I mean the stats were already made, think. but like the personality was all you, right? Mm-hmm. Well, he was the uh, the the guy from the Predator. I, I don't I forget the name of the actor. Carl the Weathers. Guy. Carl Weathers. Yes. Carl Weathers. Took her crowbar to an old lady's <laughs> knees because she wouldn't tell him what she wanted to know. Oh gotta, make, gotta make a bold move. <laughs> that 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 is somewhat of a philosophy of mine, uh, whether as a player or a GM. Mm-hmm. I like I like people just to make a move at some point. Yeah, like in uh, the pirate game, like yeah. that one. You're just like, I'm gonna punch this dude because he fucked my goat, or I fucked his goat, or in a game like you STDs or something. Endless small talk can be. Yeah. A little. Dr- it can. It can happen. Yeah. It can I happen. Love that. Well, or, patch patch face was there to. Endless small talk is one thing, but endless or endless. I don't know if I could even do that voice if I wanted to. Endless yeah. deliberation. Should we take which path? Should we go on? Yeah. Which door should we? I don't know. Let me. Oh. Be divisive. Don't be indecisive. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, his words mixed up there. No. Who was who? The divisive one was uh. 
I'd rather be <laughs> divisive than decisive. That's a Hamilton quote. Dude. Come on. I don't know that. I, my favorite quote is uh, Jellicles do and Jellicles can. That is such a <laughs> shitty <laughs> <movie>. <laughs> Oh, I cats. terrible cats. I'm a big musical guy, apparently. I never knew that about myself, but yeah, that yeah. is just peak just shit post. Like, <laughs> oh, God. I don't mind. Fuck's the jellical. Doesn't matter. Mm. Just little. I think that means. I think. I don't know. I was, I was actually in a musical when I was in high school. It's good. We did Willy Wonka. I got to play Grandpa Joe. That, that's a thing. Tet and Bo, were you guys in your high school days in oh. any sort of drama-related clubs? No. No? Just the dating scene. <laughs> Big Just dick. High school dating scene. <laughs> Wait, huh? Ted. Mm -mm. Yeah, me oh. neither. I don't know. You used to you, you play baseball, right? Yeah. And then uh, your martial arts stuff. Yeah, baseball and judo. I was in track and fencing. Mm. I, I tore in... my knee. I tore my meniscus due to fencing. Oh no! <laughs> Too much lunging. Lunging. It's dabbing. real bad on your knees. It is. Oh shit. As far as the characters, though, I do. I I think I like usually the. Uh, the assistant types characters, I think they're fun to play. Like the buff, uh, you know, characters that add to the group. Don't necessarily have to do everything themselves. I think those are fun to play. Um, I think you play like the the wisdom, like I dispense good wisdom characters. Are you talking about Heidi? Because that is no, I'm talking about Bo. Heidi does not give good wisdom. <laughs> we should sell our souls for gold. Yeah, well, except now because she cares about everybody. It's like, ugh. I have to be a good person. Yeah, Tucker was kind of like a man. I tell you, I loved Ghost character in that in that game, and then he got oh, yeah. killed. I, I was, know. I was like, good. I was like, oh fuck, because like he was probably my favorite character, honestly. Yeah, yeah, he was. And then he got killed. Oh. So? Other than uh, D list, have we ever been in a game together? Bo, oh, I think he's. Uh, you almost. You mean, you mean oh. besides besides D and D? Oh, as players. Yeah, yeah. as players. Um, We've been in D list, but I think that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. D list. Oh, I want to play D list so bad. You gotta get on your boy. I'm gonna get if fired over this. Bug him, be like, hey, ghost. I, I do. Well, I used to just bug him all the time. Be like, D list, I want to play the necrophile. God fucking damn it. He's just fucking playing Dota now. No. Won't even talk to us. Terrible. Yeah, I tried to invite him a couple times. I messaged him on Steam. Yeah, he's ignoring me. Is he playing a game? He's playing as Magnus, level 14, all pick, Dota 2. <laughs> Shameful. What does that mean? He's playing a character. I, sure. Lanes. That's all a I big know. cow dude. Oh. Uh, Targus. <laughs> yeah, he's got charge. He's got horns. So close enough. Yeah, type of character he likes to play. Big. Yeah, Aki likes big lizards. Cow. Ghost likes cows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair, uh, Ghost likes lizards quite a bit too. Yeah, he played Kothar. Yes, this one will eat the chicken. <laughs> I used to actually listen to his like the very like first like thirty seconds of that game and just laugh my ass off. I was I... upset. I was upset when Mitchell did it because it was when what Mitchell did the intro like the or the recap uh, of, the, yeah. of the time before. I was like, ah, oh. kind of like shithead wizard boy. Mitchell and Aggie are like the same guy. <laughs> they kind of look, look the same too, don't they? <coughs> I don't know what Mitchell looks like. Are you okay, Ted? Looks like Aki. Okay. <laughs> Straight my nose.
Why did he? Why did he? Why did Mitchell leave? Did he just have like do all real life games? No, I think he just. Um, I don't know. I think he just wanted to play D and D, and there wasn't enough D and D. That's my guess. No D and D. He missed out. Yeah, I know he missed out this fucking D and D game, which is great. It's such a fun D and D game. Tet, play, play D and D with us forever. <laughs> it's good shit. Mm-mm. I really enjoyed that game. You guys just got blown up last session. <laughs> yeah, we did. We got fucked. Not in a good, not in an Elwin way. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited though. Well, it got, you need. To... I'm more excited about L5R to be honest. Oh yeah, yeah, L5R. Is... Banzai! I need to know what you guys want to do next. I have some ideas about how to bring oh. your groups together, but. Well, well, what is it? They're coming to me because they're injured, and mm-hmm. my character is planning on resting for the night. Oh, we got to introduce Aki's <sighs> character to my my character's dad, and then we're next day at least for what her idea is to go out to where he saw, or that the kid got bitten, and mm-hmm. see if there's any spirits there. Yeah, I'm I'm injured from going full attack mode the entire time. Shameful display. <laughs> you bring dishonor upon the space. No, you can be hurt. I'm just <laughs> no. <laughs> it's shameful that you're hurt. Get well. I will try. Got attacked by ninjas. What do you expect? <laughs> A saved old man, old man drunk face, and yeah. our best friend, pussy daimyo son. Did you read? Did you listen to any of the uh, one with Matt? Uh, no, because I so, uh, just got it, I think, didn't I? So, spoiler, oh, yeah. spoiler, at the very end, the guy that Ghost is playing Go with. Yeah, did stumbled. he die? No, he just stumbles into their, like, wasted. To my like, house. <laughs> into the wrong house. My place. Nice. Yeah. Remember how he's, like, trying not to go home to his yeah, wife? Yeah, right, 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 yeah. He's just going into random houses all wasted and just passed out. <laughs> Yeah, passed out my fucking place. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? And yeah. his son, his yeah. son is a suitor for Hibiki. Oh yeah, that's true. Hibiki's just like, okay. You and know. Hibiki's parents don't like it because because the dad is an asshole. Yeah, isn't he like? Um, he, I mean, I assume he's a samurai, but he can't be like high status, right? No, one of them from minor families, like a vassal family yeah. or something. Oh. But again, you know, he probably has some good, some relatives that are in good standing, mm-hmm. but kind of like Ghost, he's the black sheep. Yeah. So. My character hopefully not bring dishonor upon her family, but who knows? She tries not to. This, this calligraphy is shit. Yeah, yeah right. Most of Learn it. how to write good. <laughs> and then I do most of it because I put my lover's name on a whole bunch of things and I don't want anyone knowing because he's dead. And she's sad. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think... That's a bad disadvantage because I can be like, do something oh, that reminds you of him yeah. and just like burn one of your void points. Is it lost love or something yes. like that? Yes. Hmm. She's sad. She's like, uh. Yeah. So I called her out at the very beginning of the session, too, because she was up there, like, thinking about it. And I had some old woman come and visit the grave of her son who was killed in the war, crying over the grave right next to it to her. It reminded her of the boy. <laughs> remind, me of the, remind me of the babe. <laughs> at least, well, when I'm in court, it's like, it's bad news. Oh, I know. God damn. Yeah. The only person that's good in court is her, is you, Matt. Yep, I know. Well, it's I, not even that I'm not good in court. It's like if I... Dick bag. Like anybody who says anything I don't believe in, I have to like argue with them. And then if the, if I feel they insult me, I have to fight them. So I have like two that like daisy chain on each other. Is Demi well, still alive? Uh, Demi left the room again. Oh, okay. He's, I think he broke the seal a while ago. So he's just pissing constantly. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm super excited about L5R, obviously, because it's my favorite game ever. But it's a lot of fun. I'm excited to see. Kind of where I can't believe Aki's daughters lived. 
you're welcome. I am amazing. Yeah, I was like, when you were telling me, like, oh, I'm going to do it at the same time, I was like, that's perfect. Make them choose. <laughs> yeah, but then they put, like, the, well, the, the, the young one would have died. But I didn't. They didn't have to choose because the older daughter kept getting all these exploding dice. Yeah, she's so good. <laughs> yeah. How old is How old is his kids? Young. Seven and five. Hmm. Yeah, but they did great on their checks, and then I healed them. So. And I was like, man, I had to use real pictures and just add a little bit of photo effect to them. So I was just trying to do the image search for like Japanese little girls and i couldn't find anything at all that was useful for obvious reasons uh, yeah it's like don't you just went into incognito mode for that one just in suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> just like when you look for toy like pictures yeah it's all nudes it's like, uh... <laughs> matt and her star wars fetishes with Aliens with tentacles. Oh yeah. yeah. I like that game too. I think I like that's like a it's like so an cool. ongoing one shot game. That's a fun one. Yeah, I like mm-hmm. that game too. It's a great game. I don't. I like. It's like I kind of want to get the others involved, but like it. Like it's hard for me to run a lot of those. So it's like, how much do I want the other group to actually Let's cancel everything else and just run Star Wars? Oh. I don't like Star Wars that much. Uh, Just the Star Wars, not the games. Not our game, but the Star Wars in general. Um, I'm more of a Star Trek person, but I'm really enjoying Star the Star Wars games. I mean, the movies are fine. They're fun. But uh I love the what is it? The I love the prequels. Like rewatching them. They're great. Like the first movie, if it didn't have Jar Jar, it would have been fucking amazing. Prequel music is some of the top background music for TikTok videos. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think one of my favorite ones that I saw, it was like the dueling, like Duel of the Fates. And then someone like took their vacuum cleaner and like dragged it across stone. It was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Go to Star Wars and click on the TikTok that I posted. I think this is the one. Yes, yes, it's hilarious. Just watch it. I what? Where? What? Huh? It's in, it, I posted it into the FFG Star Wars channel on Discord. Did you? Okay. Well, when now? Oh, there oh. it is. Yeah, there it is. Yesterday morning. Oh, uh, I didn't see this. Oh, look at that guy. That's flu. Just watch what he says at the end. So, like, do you, hey. if I show her that, do you think hey, that I'll get some puss? <laughs> That's not funny. Is that funny as fuck? It is funny, yeah. So, like, do you, if I show her that, you think I'll get some puss? <laughs> that is flu. Oh, my God. Here are you going? Oh, God. dude! Did you see the original that's sound? Like ink, Slumlord ink. is it's like slurm almost. Slurm. And that's what I always used to tell people like in, in college. I was like, I'll just go up this party, <laughs> tell these bitches I'm an admin on Elendor, <laughs> and I'll get laid. <laughs> I'm, I'm a- an administrator on the world's largest RPG group of Tolkien oh, fans. Fuck. <laughs> now fuck me. Mushing. My hobbit hole. <laughs> oh my god. Hobbit hole. <laughs> oh god oh no yeah I didn't have TikTok and yesterday I worked at this really small hospital mm-hmm. and so I, I saw six patients I think the whole time I was there and I was just watching TikTok videos the whole day <laughs> oh my god people have nothing to do during quarantine they just sit around doing this shit it is yeah I uh yeah it's really all people can do right now just fucking just people who are not working i i can't uh, i can't imagine sitting at home and not working i just i i feel bad it's just like a i'm glad i can get out but at the same time i'm like you're in the minority (laughs) yeah i'm in the very minority of not being you know not at home kind of shit oh well so you got a cult going. What else is happening? Is Witcher um, 
wrapping up or uh, mid mid season type of thing. Uh, I think mm-hmm. I got a I got a session with um, Ghost and Wanderer next week, and that's going to be the last one for a couple months. I'm gonna do Mithras, which I am fucking super excited about, but Bo, it's probably the most crunchy system I've ever run. It, yeah. Get just from the sheet, I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah. Like, like, uh, there's so if you, um, I don't do mind like, that, but I second doubt myself. Like, oh, am I even doing this right? You know that. Type yeah, of but like, I'm look, I'm looking at so like, for instance, uh, if you get a special, which there's different ways to get a special. There's like twenty of them, and they're all like, um, uh, s- some of them are. Some of them you can't do based on what kind of attacks you do. Um, so some of them are like, oh, if you are using a weapon that can do this special, you can do it, or you have to crit, or they have to fumble, or it, there's there's a lot to it. Um, it's good. It might not be the exact perfect game to run like something that's going to run like in six sessions, but. The, the the system itself looks really cool and I, I I love the like I'm really into the um historical fantasy games right now so the Greek the Greek fantasy the you know the Japanese fantasy I'm into that right now so I'm 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 hyped for it but but it's the system is definitely intense I thought, you know, a lot of some of this, you know, the crunch can be cut down with the good macros that you do, you know. Mm-hmm. Imagine trying to have to do all that manually. Like well, at the table. <laughs> Imagine at the table. Yeah. It's do just the math. Well, it, each attack is like three different rolls for sure for for that so game. Do you, have, do you have that just cooked into like one click yep. or something? Yep, I do yeah. now. I've, I figured out how to do it. Um, yeah, you just roll your combat style and then it'll automatically roll. It automatically rolls your damage and then populates all the things that go along with that. And then it also does hit location based on who you target. So if you target something that has is not bipedal, it'll it'll roll their rollable table for um, whatever they are. So if they're like some sort of monster and have eight legs and the hit location determines you need all that stuff. It's what it, that's why I was asking you about the target thing the other day. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, what it targets like there's a there's a drop down on the sheet that says like what kind of hit locations they have, and you target that. And if it's bipedal, it says humanoid, and so you roll the normal humanoid table. But if it's something else, then it rolls against that. It's but it's all based on targeted. So yeah, it was kind of cool to figure out how to do that, but. That's cool. So we should probably we've been going for over two hours now. Mm-hmm. Should we uh, at sure. least wrap up the TED talk? Yep. Um, so everybody out there, uh, please watch and subscribe. If you're watching this, you probably already are. But um, plenty of games coming. If there's any content you want to see, particularly like character mm-hmm. creation videos, system tutorials, things like that, that uh, some of us do. Uh, we'll be happy to do those, especially if there are games that we have done already. Um, so no problem whatsoever. Um, we really thank every every subscriber we have, and you know we um, we don't do this really for um, a ton of subscribers or views or anything. We really just do it kind of to keep track for games that we play. But if you're having enjoyment, we really appreciate you watching uh, us play these games and. Uh, Anybody, anything else you guys want to say? No. He says no. no. Besides, uh, yeah, we. Uh, if you want to yep. comment on anything you want to see, uh, you can join the fan club and let yep. us know. Um, and uh, come and say hi because you know we're usually around. Um, yep. And besides that, yeah. Have a good night. Yep. Uh, hey, if you think you're up to snuff, why don't you audition? We need more players. Yeah, fucking do your song and dance for us. Exactly. That's what I was about to say. So, yep. Come on to the Discord uh, server, the fan club server, and if you do want to play, especially if you like how we run games, right? Uh, very specific. Um, 
please come and uh, talk to us and we can play some games together. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.